In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about motion paths in Tumult Hype. So a motion path is a way to create an animation that follows a curve. They're really easy to create, and I'm going to show you a few different ways to make them. You can copy a path from a pre-existing vector shape like this, or you can just create one from scratch. So I'm going to use this uh, fish object and show you how to create your first motion path. So with my fish selected, I'm going to create a regular movement going from left to right. So I'm going to advance to five seconds and hit record. I'm just going to drag it from left to right. And what this does is since I moved it uh, slightly down and changed its left position, um, it's creating keyframes that use origin left and origin top down here. Now I can convert this to a motion path by clicking this small icon, but I'm going to do it the on scene method where I am just clicking on the animation bar here and then clicking and dragging to create a motion path. And this gives us uh, control points that adjust the curve of the motion path and gives us an anchor point. And you can add as many anchor points as you want and create the curve that you are going for. So you notice that the top fish So you notice that both fish uh, sort of follow the direction of the path. They're rotating as they move from left to right. This is because of the rotation follows motion path option. And it just automatically adjusts the Z rotation based on where it is on the motion path. So if you deselect that, your fish sort of bobs up and down instead of rotating. So how did I get this vector shape to um, mirror what's happening in the motion path. The way you do that is you select your vector shape and that opens up vector shape mode so you know that you have your anchor points and control points able to be manipulated and then you can just hit command C and then you can select your object that has a motion path and then select your motion path itself and then hit Command V. And what that does is it copies the path data from the vector shape onto the motion path. And then we have the same sort of movement as the other fish. Now you can go the other way. You can copy a motion path to a vector shape. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm just going to draw a quick vector shape. So this is just a regular um, line that's a vector shape. I'm going to get the motion path selected here. I'm going to click down here in the animation pane and select the motion path. Hit command C and double click on this shape and then hit command V. And that copies the motion path to the vector shape. So another thing to note when you're working on vector shapes is that the movement corresponds to the center of the object. So when you are moving an object from left to right um, and then convert that to a motion path, it's using that center of the object as your reference point. So if you wanted to change how this uh, animates, maybe you wanted the point to be down in the lower left hand corner, you would adjust the group bounds. So you'll notice this is a series of objects. This is a vector shape consisting of a bunch of different shapes. If we use the uh, group bounds, we can change that center point to be down here. So now for this object, I'm going to have it also uh, follow motion path for the rotation. And I can start the, I can change the starting rotation just by going back to this keyframe and adjusting the rotation. What I'm doing here is I'm holding down Command and I'm going to rotate this so it has a better starting point. So now we see we have a, a better um, 
sort of central point from which the motion path uses rotation. Another thing to note is when you have your playhead here over the keyframe, it's going to adjust the starting point of your motion path. So you'll see it's sort of elongating uh, the direction it has to travel. And each of these dots represented here represents a 30th of a second. So that's the, the keyframe number you see here. If we were to make this really long, maybe stretch it out even more, you'll see that it's the same number of dots, they're just closer together. Now when you move an object when you're not on a keyframe, and this goes for any animation, you're actually moving the position of the animation, not the position of the starting keyframe. Now if you wanted to animate an object, I'm going to make a new scene, uh, going from right to left, it's a little different. So I'm going to make a four second animation going from right to left, and then make sure I've got this rotation follows motion path. You'll see that everything's a little wonky. Hype uses the top and left as reference points when creating animation. So you might need to do some rotation just to make sure that you have a good starting point. So again, I just held down Command and dragged this around so that it is moving the right direction. So you'll probably need to do some of those types of uh, property adjustments if you're making a movement from right to left. So that's a few of the ways you can use motion paths in Hype. And please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks.